Members of the Satanic Temple and pro-life groups were actually clashing when it came to abortion rights as Utah's access to abortion has been questioned. Well, Utah is one of several states asking the U.S. Supreme Court to overturn Roe v. Wade. Fox 13's Eliana Sheriff shares both sides on this hotly debated topic. We reject any viewpoint that has no scientific basis. Pro-choice demonstrators filled the Capitol steps Saturday afternoon. This rally was supposed to take place last year, but it was postponed due to COVID. However, the message is stronger than ever, and it isn't just pro-choice demonstrators, as you can see. Anti-abortion activists were also on the ground, both groups clashing over abortion rights. Utah is one of several states asking the U.S. Supreme Court to overturn Roe versus Wade. It's a move Danielle Filon supports. I don't think it's right to kill babies in the womb. Um, so if that got overturned, it would really change our country for the better. Utahns are at risk of losing access to abortion if this landmark decision is overturned. Meantime, a new law in Texas went into effect earlier this month that bans abortions after six weeks. It also allows any person to sue anyone who helps a woman get an abortion, even the driver who brings her to the doctor. Eagle Forum President Gail Ruzica hopes Utah mirrors what Texas has done. If a role is overturned, then it, that would send it back to the states. And then each state could decide for themselves. But in Utah, we've already made that choice. Gail says if Roe versus Wade is overturned, then a trigger bill will go into effect here in Utah, making it illegal to kill an unborn baby. Now millions and millions of little babies have died because of a decision that was made by a handful of people. Exceptions of rape, incest, and life of the mother are in this bill, Gail says. However, leaders of the Satanic Temple are asking people to get involved and educate themselves to understand the implications these laws have beyond just abortion access. The, the more difficult you make it, um, you might as well not have, you know, Roe v. Wade at all. And and now they're they're directly challenging it, which, you know, as you know, um, is going to be happening in December with the Supreme Court. So, um, you know, it is stepping backwards. Eliana Sheriff, Fox 13 News, Utah. Now, this will all begin to play out in December when oral arguments will begin in a case involving Mississippi's ban on abortions after 15 weeks. Last year, Utah's legislature passed a law which, if Roe v. Wade is overturned, would prohibit a woman from getting an abortion at any stage of the pregnancy with very limited exceptions. Any provider who performs an illegal abortion could be charged with a second-degree felony. While the Satanic Temple's imagery may be unique to some, especially those from a traditional Christian background who are taught that Satan is the root of all evil, followers tell us that the religion does not support any gods or deities, including Lucifer. A little more information on this for you right now. Followers say the Satanic Temple holds seven fundamental tenets like acting with compassion toward all creatures, justice prevailing over laws and institutions, one's body subject to one's own will alone, they also say the freedoms of others should be respected, including the freedom to offend. Well, they believe you should never distort scientific facts to fit your beliefs. Lastly, that people are imperfect and compassion and wisdom and justice should always prevail over the written word.